today's episode, a man plays a trombone. Doesn't, doesn't sound that loud. It's still not that loud. Today is finally the day. Last night I got the Max Jack set up. I came home a little early from work and showed up just in time for the UPS truck. I got Heidi the Cayman moved in. I have not taken the jacks up with a car on it yet. This will be the first time. And uh, obviously we got some packages here. Um, one of them I'm pretty sure is Penetrating oil, Ew. which I'm hoping we don't need a lot of, but better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. All right, perfect. I went with WD-40, um, specifically their penetrating Ew. and rust uh, release oil. Um, it's not one that's been tested a lot on YouTube, so this will be kind of my test for it. All right, now for the exciting part, sole performance exhaust. Um, you know, I've seen pictures, I've seen other YouTube videos, everybody uh, talks extremely highly of the welding quality and the finish quality. Um, I'm hoping it's as good as everybody says. So let's go ahead and get the first box opened up. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the headers. And I'm pretty sure the other box is going to be the exhaust itself. All right. Right off the bat, got some hardware. A little microfiber cloth, one of the things that you're supposed to do when you're done completing your install is wipe it all down with uh, regular WD-40. That way when it gets hot, uh, it doesn't burn your fingerprints into the bare metal. Uh, and then of course, a couple of little sole decals. So I'll probably put one of these on the car and one of these on my air compressor or my cooler or something like that. So, set that aside. Next up is an installation guide, and what I like on here is they've gone through and done a quality control check and it's hand signed off. Um, you can see when it was shipped, everything's in color, which is really nice. Cool. Alright, gaskets. So it looks like we've got all the gaskets we need for the headers and for the pipes. I'm not going to open those up quite yet, I don't want to damage them. There we go. This finish is exactly what I was expecting it to be. The welds especially around these flanges here are really well done. I actually have a catalytic converter that's out right now and uh, so I have a check engine light which means that I've not been able to get a state inspection. Um, this should allow me to get a state inspection because I went ahead and ordered the O2 spacers. Now we're on to the big box. So I've been looking at this exhaust for two years since before I even bought the Cayman. So, um, it's kind of a long time coming, and I'm 
so excited about it. Alright, once again, a little packet with microfiber cloth, a couple of decals, gaskets, um, again, quality control, hand signed, in color directions. Here is my shirt, and more packing foam. Alright, so here are the uh, O2 separators. Um, I thought Sol actually made these themselves. The ones that used to be on their website, they said they were getting better results with this product uh, when I was emailing back and forth with them. All sorts of mounting hardware. You see how even my slightly sweaty hands have left a mark already on that? That's what we're talking about using WD-40 to get it off. It'll definitely go higher, but I think that's as high as I need to go or want to go. Um, I'm going to put the safety bars in on both sides. So here's that big spacer. Alright, so there are two things that are kind of common on the inside of this wheel well. We have to remove this black piece of plastic here and we have to remove this black piece of plastic here all of this is held in with number 10s and t25 torques um, they're pretty easy to take off if you have a pneumatic or battery operated wrench uh, if not you can use hand tools they're not on there relatively tight um, so that's what we're going to take off now um, one of the things i'm going to do while I work on the other side is I'm going to soak this stuff through with some penetrating oil uh, now. So when I come back, hopefully it's uh, good to go. It is pretty tight in here. The good news is a lot of this looks pretty doggone clean. There is not a lot of rust. My goal for all this is to not need heat. And uh, not need anything major power tools. My secondary goal is to not break off any of the header bolts. All right, so on this side, I've gotten all three of these bolts, uh, or the nuts off of the bolt, and it looks like it's gonna separate just fine. I've also taken off, there we go, those two bolts. Both sides of everything, got to get those off. And uh, those came off really easy. The three on the flange between the uh, header and tubes, not so easy. So in one of the sets of videos I watched about doing this, this top most bolt out of the three was the most seized on there in all the videos and in my case too. I think part of that is because any penetrator oil just runs down because of the angle that it's at and doesn't really get in there. Since people bend this little tab flange right here, I've seen people put heat on this bolt. I was able to get the passenger side no problem. Um, Took a lot of oomph and penetrating Ew. oil, but it didn't didn't take anything crazy. I'm thinking this is going to be the same way. It's just hard to get a wrench in here. There's not a lot of space, and uh, I had to spray it a couple times extra with some uh, penetrating Ew. oil. Didn't have to apply any heat, and it came off. All right, so I ended up 
bending this just a tiny bit towards me. Um, and I'm seriously getting one click per movement of the wrench. So I'm taking it one click at a time. I'm about halfway there, but I got it broke loose. Uh, no heat, just use penetrating no. uh, WD-40. Um, and it's coming off. It's squeaky though. It's real squeaky. Come on. There we go. Woo! Last one. All right, so now I've got some bolts on the front that need to come off and uh, should be able to lift this off. Some of y'all are wondering why I didn't just put something on this other side. This other side is not um, the correct shape. It does not have uh, any sort of pattern. It's just round. So I can't get a hold of anything on the other side and turn that. 10 minutes later. So one of the things I found pretty interesting was that whereas all the other three bolts were just a regular bolt, this one was a star. Um, why they did that, I'm not sure. Most of you are like, oh, no big deal, it's a star. Well, most American vehicles have a five point star and that's what most stores sell. This is a seven point star. So they're a little harder to find, especially in a female socket to put on. Um, I found my set at Harbor Freight a while back when I was doing a different project and it's really good that I had that. Otherwise I would have had to stop progress and maybe use vice grips or something else that would screw this all up. Well, there it is. It's out. Um, I wish I should have seen it when I just jiggled it after I took that last bolt out. The whole thing just went clunk and was kind of hanging there. Uh, it doesn't look like it damaged anything else when it just dropped, but it was hanging there and uh, now it's on the floor. That sucker is heavy. It's a lot heavier than the uh, what I'm about to put on. And I'm not going to weigh it. I'm not that nitpicky to say, oh, I saved 10 pounds and therefore a second off of the quarter mile. No. And I'm going to try and keep my head out from underneath all this. This is one of the few times where I say less is more. Ooh, because it makes a mess. Okay, so this is the passenger side header, which I was expecting to be very difficult to take off. Um, I thought the header bolts were gonna be really tight on there and that um, they may wanna shear. I just put my quarter inch breaker bar with what I needed on there and just barely pushed and it just turned right away. I got them all loosened up and then used um, my quarter inch impact and just zipped them right off real easy. Uh, and then you just lower it and turn it. Don't take all the bolts off and lay underneath it. It will just fall and hit you in the face. But uh, super easy. I was expecting this to take a lot longer. Very happy with that. I think the uh, WD-40 specialist uh, penetrate Ew. oil or spray is doing a dang good job. So good job whoever formulated this. Um, I'm gonna keep using this stuff. All right, so I've got one header in um, and then I've got the little mini cat bypass thing here and I've got my sensors installed. So I didn't do this 100% tight because I know I'm gonna need a little flex um, when I go to put the actual exhaust on. Um, so I'm gonna do the other side and I'm also gonna show you all this little cat right here and show you how that works. So this little mini cat um, has a little area for one of these drop downs um, which is basically three different size orifices so if you wanted full wide open, getting all that gas to the sensor, you put in the wide open one or nothing at all. 
if you want a little bit of restriction on it so that maybe it's uh, you know that sensor is not getting as much of the air going through the header or really neck down really tight and then it's got a little snap ring that holds it in place there's a little groove in there and then there's a little washer just to put on here and then this you tighten down once you've turned it all the way on you then tighten it down there I put it on after I put the header in place uh, just because I wasn't sure on clearances if this would fit and everything. So one of the tools that I bought, I call it a tool, uh, it's more of an accessory that I bought that has been irreplaceable has been this. Some of y'all may be asking what this is. This is a O2 sensor removal tool. So the beauty of it is it's got this little slit in there which you can slide the wire through and then slide it down onto the O2 sensors and then it just connects to a socket which you know you can get it in any direction and remove those very easily instead of getting there with a specialty wrench I said so this is a specialty wrench but instead of getting in there with a tool that may mar stuff up or can't get as good a leverage or angle as this can at this point I apparently stopped shooting video of the installation I think I got in a hurry and just stopped thinking about it and the install was essentially the reverse of the uh, uninstall so not a lot different. If you wanted to fill in the gaps uh, here is the link to three other great installation videos from other YouTubers. Now enjoy some sweet exhaust notes. Thank you for watching this episode of Baker's Garage. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell.